Alright guys, so now we have just about everything plugged um, we have everything plugged in through power. Now let's connect the first ones, the SATA 3 hard drives, the SSDs. Slide them back here since they're gonna go back there. And we connect it to the SATA 3 port. On this motherboard, it is the Intel ports. We can use the I like to call them ass media. Better performance off of the Intel ones. The white ones are the uh, SATA 3 cables, although SATA 3 and SATA 2, the cables are exactly the same. Just a gimmick to sell different kinds of uh, cables. I will be using a SATA 2 and a SATA 3 cable. The other SATA 3 cable I have is angled at a 90 degree angle. And because everything is so close to the motherboard, to the uh, motherboard tray, it's not going to fit. We're on the back of the case. And we just plug in the SSDs real quick. And we will come back and make everything look pretty. But for right now, just quick sloppy to get things out of the way. Alright, plugged in. Now we're going to connect the two opticals, the two CD drives. We'll connect them in the AS Media. The manual tells you not to use these controllers for opticals, but I've never had issues with them in the past, so I'm going to. Now these will come up here. Connect one and then connect the other. And now, not, last but not least, we have the three standard hard drives. Over here, we have three ports or four ports. The, the light blue ones, those are the SATA 2 ports. These mechanical hard drives, they're most typically SATA 2. Well, this, these one in particular are SATA 2, I know for a fact. Because they're old, older. Keep them around for storing data and other things that you don't really need critical speeds for. Alright, All right, and here are the cables, no particular order because it doesn't matter, we can always set them up in the BIOS, I'll put this one at the bottom because the setup cable itself has a 90 degree angle, so it's going to get in the way of the other, it's going to get in the way of this hard drive. And we slide them all under here because they're hidden, so it doesn't matter what kind of mess we make back there. But I still want to keep as much out of sight, out of, out of mind as possible. So, and now we're coming to almost the critical portion to make everything look pretty. That's going to take a long time too. We're going to have some fans here, just unzip tying this, to get some length in there. And then we'll take this one, the fan that we added. Just trying to take it away. All right, now let's see where we could put it. For right now, I'm just going to tuck it right in here. All right, actually, there's one here and one here. So what I'm going to do is take them out of here, put them through here. And I bet you guys thought I forgot about this fan right here, but I didn't. Alright, so then one other thing is, I'm sure you guys thought I forgot about this fan back here. I didn't. We're going to go ahead and connect it 
to this fan header. And then typically I would put it on the back side of this fan, but there is no space. So what I'm going to do is just come up there. It's not as pretty as I would like, but it's not too bad. So now, let me zoom this up. Alright, so now I'm going to clean up this little clutter of cables. We're pretty much done wiring the entire system, so now it's just making things look pretty. Getting cables out of the way, making everything look pretty. Now just making sure I have all the power cables coming through here, and I do. Use my zip ties. Trying to make this as much as possible look like one strand of cable. Some people like to braid them all together into one single looking like cable. And to teach you guys how to cable, I'm not going to go extremely intense. Alright, so let's start cleaning some of this clutter up. Now to clean some of this clutter up, obviously back here it's a huge mess. So. I want to use some zip ties and some other good stuff. And it's always best to think ahead when doing this. Obviously I didn't. So i got to deal with all these cables now. I always have this problem. I say, yeah, no, it's going to look good at the end. And then it does look good, but i got to deal with all this clutter. So here's where my trusty clips come into play. are the SATA 2 cables that go to the opticals just so they have a home and so they look nice coming out from the motherboard. Now for the SATA 3 cables which the AS Media is a SATA 3 controller but we have it on the opticals so it doesn't really matter. This is the real SATA 3 controller, the Intel one. Typically, <laughs> this would be too much clutter for me, but supposedly this has an extra wide side panel, which it does. I'm going to test just how extra wide it is. All right, and this case has very nice little uh, pieces that stick out that are actually made for zip ties, which is very refreshing. You don't typically ever see that. Again, <laughs> I just want to see how much extra space they have. This is a huge cluster F of cables. Wow. Worst I've ever done. But I don't want to bore you guys with such a long video. Which this is already long. These cables, these are made, they're made for this little switch here, so you can switch the fan speed from 12 volt, 7 volt, and 5 volt. 
don't want this to regulate it, regulate it, sorry, so the cables are worthless to me. You might like it. I don't mind a, a loud PC, although it's probably not going to be too loud with this, with uh, noise dampening. So I am going to hide all of these cables. 